Hello, all of my beautiful YouTube friends. My name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your November 2017 Love and Romance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of those who have commented and shared my videos. Thank you to all of my old subscribers, as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support very, very much. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so today at my new website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Please check under the readings tab. Under the readings tab on the readings page, you will find a list of all current readings, descriptions of each reading, as well as a link to book your reading directly beneath each description. Everything has been made very easy, very simple for you, so please check that out. I am still doing my most popular reading, future partner readings. So if you are single and would like to know who your future partner is, including details such as when and where you'll meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your future partner, as well as align yourself with your partner and the relationship of your dreams, you can visit my website at powerlifehypnosis.com and you can book a reading with me today. You can also email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. On my website, I also have a link to my subliminals page where you can download any of the subliminals that I have posted here on my YouTube channel. I'm now doing subliminals, so please check those out. And please check out the announcement video that I posted this month, as well as the recent eye color changing journey results video that I posted yesterday. So please check those out. I'm very excited to be bringing these things to you. So again, please check those out. They're available right now. During the month of August, I'm doing a special on all my subliminals. So you can download any of my subliminals from my selfie store for 50% off. All the details are in the description box below. So please check that out. I would like to apologize for not being able to get the October readings out to you guys. I had been experiencing something that had kept me out of the office. However, I am now back. I'm here and I'm very excited to be back with you guys. So... Um, there shouldn't be any delays now, and again, I'm really excited to be back and doing these readings for you guys. These are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. If the messages do not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign videos as these messages may. And if the messages do resonate with you, please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos in order to gain a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the month of November. Alrighty, thank you so much for listening and we will go ahead and get started. This reading is for my lovely Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising sign friends. So let's go ahead and get started on your predictions. Alrighty, Pisces. So the first card that I have for you is the Tower. In the center, the House. The ring. On the top of the deck, the mice. On the bottom of the deck, the lilies. So, these are the five cards that I have for you for your prediction. So let's see what we have here. So what I can immediately see here is that there's going to be some strife because I have these two kings here with the house and the lilies card. So by these two kings here, I can see that there's going to be some strife going on, some difficulties during the month of November. So the card on the bottom here is the lilies. And the Lily says that either some of you are in a relationship with an older male over the age of 30. This may be a male who's white, Caucasian, a European. This could be someone mature or someone older. Or this could be saying that many of you are 
letting go of something, either letting go of something or you're in a waiting, you're, you're, you're in a waiting period, you're in a period of non-action, you're exhibiting patience at this time in some area when it comes to your love life. So for some reason you are again practicing temperance, patience, waiting, sitting back and waiting patiently, seeing what happens, letting go, seeking serenity and peace in your love life. Because I see here on the top of the deck, we have the mice card. So the mice card is saying that a lot of you guys have been experiencing some stress in your romantic relationship. You may be feeling emotionally drained. You may be feeling, um, it may come out that there's some manipulation going on, or if there hasn't, if that manipulation hasn't come out, it may, um, but there's some manipulation going on. There's a deterioration of love and romance, some nervousness, some instability, some fear. Um, your partner may be passive aggressive, may be nagging. There may be some um, type of small annoyances going on, some worries. This is a card of instability, a card of, again, being emotionally drained, nervousness, manipulation, fear with this mice card here at the top. So that's what we have here. So that's what you've been experiencing, which may have caused you to let go or something like that. Or it could even be that this letting go and this sitting back and waiting is causing some kind of stress, causing some kind of worry, causing some kind of fear, things like that, leading you to feel emotionally drained. And if your partner has recently ghosted you or just gone quiet on you, know that this is a sign of manipulation. Because this plays on your fear of abandonment or it plays on people's fears of abandonment when the partner suddenly um, ghosts, you know, someone or suddenly is quiet and you can't find this person for days, you can't contact this person. This is a sign of manipulation. So please be um, mindful of that. So we have here the tower, the house, and the ring. So this is saying, let's see the different things that this can be saying. So I see some difficult aspects going on here. I see some difficult aspects going on here. So I have to interpret these cards in light of that because on their own, these cards could mean, on their own, these cards can mean a steady and serious relationship maybe becomes comfortable and you settle down together in this happy relationship. Or maybe there's a proposal or an engagement or something like that. So that's one way that this can go. So this could be for some of you. So maybe this is for those of you who are in a relationship already, um, maybe in a good relationship. We have here um, making an official of a relationship some commitment here and this is going to be with someone that you are familiar with this is going to be in a comfortable relationship maybe a domestic situation so for others of you this can mean that there's a separation from someone because maybe family is more important maybe more committed to your family so there's a separation from someone or you isolate yourself from someone or there's an isolation because you're more focused on your family and your family's more important and maybe somebody was getting in the way or this could even be somebody being this can be somebody being confining and selfish in a relationship as well this can be somebody being confining and being selfish in a relationship. And maybe this person is, and maybe your relationship becomes comfortable and you start engaging in this cycle, a cycle of abuse or something like that. That could be a possibility as well. So if you see a situation, this is the month of October, this is National Domestic 
violence month if you see yourself in a situation where your partner and this doesn't have to be physical abuse this can be spiritual abuse this can be emotional abuse this can be you know any kind of uh abuse verbal abuse um so if you see yourself in a situation where your partner calls you names, calls you out of your name, speaks to you poorly, belittles you, hurts you verbally in some way, isn't respectful of you, isn't respectful of your needs, isn't respectful of you as a person. Um, if this person is mistreating you and then all of a sudden tries to come back and save the situation, and then says that they're never going to do it again, that the, that your partner's so sorry, he or she's never going to do it again. Um, or they can say that, you know, you were the cause of this, you were the reason for this. If you hadn't done this, then we wouldn't be in this situation, you know, um, something like, I didn't do this to you, you did this to you. I didn't, I didn't hurt you, you hurt you, something like that. So if you see yourself going through any of these patterns where, you know, there's some difficulty, there's some pain, there's some um, verbal abuse, and then the partner wants to make everything better, says everything is better, apologizes, and then everything is great for a couple of weeks or a couple of days or, you know, a day or two. Um, everything is great, and then everything goes in the circle again. So what happens in the circle of uh, the cycle of abuse is that a partner, again, can um, get triggered by something, a partner is going to hurt the other partner, and then from there, they're going to apologize, and you're going to go through a honeymoon period where everything is great, everything is fine, he's never going to do it again, she's never going to do it again, things are great, and then from there, there's a trigger again, and then the person gets set off again, and then they take it out on you again, and then it's an ever-going cycle. Um, there can also be a situation where in your relationship, you, this is going to be more so in, in newer relationships, most likely, but this can be in any range of relationships, um, any time where when you started off the relationship, you started off the relationship and this person was just overly attentive, was always around, was always giving to you. Um, always wanted to spend time with you, made you feel so important, like you were the most important person in the world. Um, they wanted to give all their time, attention, resources, love, things to you, um, wanted to go out of their way for you. And then after that, when it came to a certain point, they knocked you off that pedestal and then maybe they ghosted you and they were just quiet or they knocked you off that pedestal by then, you know, calling you something, making fun of you, calling you a name, speaking disrespectfully or something like that. And now you're in a situation where you keep trying to go back to that first period. You keep having problems. You keep having problems. You don't know why, but you keep trying to go back to that earlier period in which there are no problems. So if your situation, if your relationship has taken any of these trajectories, if it goes in any of these directions, you know, then you have a situation where this is actually um, a control a, a, a control cycle. This is an abuse cycle. This is um, an unhealthy relationship. This is a toxic relationship. So please keep that in mind. If you see any of these patterns going on, know that you're in a toxic relationship. And also, I do have two videos up about narcissism. Um, so if you believe that you may be dating a narcissist, check out these two videos, five reasons or five more reasons um, or uh, five signs rather or five more signs you may be dating a narcissist check out these videos um, I'll try to put them at the end so you can just click on them um, under the suggested videos and check that out see if that is your situation and if that is the best thing to do will be to leave the situation leave the relationship um, cut yourself off from this person go complete no contact so I know that a few months ago, some of you um, were in cahoots with a narcissist. So maybe this could be from new um, viewers, new uh, viewers to my videos, to my channel. Maybe you didn't know that this was going on or however this may be. So moving forward. So again, I have here the tower, the house and the ring. So this can be showing that you may be in a confining situation. Uh, a, a, there may be a separation going on even. Um, so there may be a separation going on from this 
secure, secure relationship because of this abuse cycle or something like that. At the very best, the outcome that we have here is making a relationship official maybe it's because of something domestic or something like that, or you're making the situation official, you're making the relationship official, you may be in a steady and serious relationship in which you are settling down with this person and you are living in perfect harmony, you have a happy commitment, there's a commitment going here. So at the very best, that's the outcome I see here. The, out the outcome I see here, again, is um, a domestic situation where there's... Um, I can even see here separation in a marriage for some of you. There may be separation in a marriage um, or somebody may be feeling isolated, maybe feeling confound, something like that at home in a marriage even. That's another thing that I can see here. Some of you who are at home with your partner, at home with your love, your, 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 your husband or your wife, your loved one, you may be feeling confound at home with this person in this marriage or in this committed relationship. So these are different things that I see going on here for you. Okay, so that's what I have going on for you, Pisces. So let's see what we have here for your guidance. For your guidance, my Pisces friends, I have for you number 21, Clean it up. So somebody's been cleaning out, or somebody needs to be cleaned out of your life, rather. Number 11, by the book. And then I have here, number 39, in the reverse, new life. So these are the three cards here I have here. So taking these three cards together, this clean it up card, Number 21, this is speaking of progression, moving forward. So you could have been recently, or now in the month of November, it's a good time to get rid of the people, places, things that no longer serve you. This is a good time to get things out of your life that are not serving your highest good, that are not serving your highest purpose. Now could even be a good time to clean your home. If you need to clean your home and you haven't done that for a while, this is a good thing to do. It's also a good time to look at the baggage that you have in a situation with a particular person. So if you're in a relationship with someone, Look at the baggage that's there and look at what's your baggage versus what's their baggage to clean up. So if somebody keeps coming to you and telling you about their their past and their childhood, and this is an adult telling you their childhood and why their childhood is so, you know, their childhood was so difficult and because their childhood is so difficult, this is why they mistreat you. You know, that's not your baggage. That's not your deal. They're an adult. That doesn't need to affect your relationship now, you know, so that can be in a, a situation or that can be how this plays out for some of you. But this can be cleaning up, recognizing the difference between baggage, cleaning up your side of the street, cleaning up your baggage, figuring out what's your baggage to clean up versus their baggage and sweeping away, getting rid of any person, place, thing that no longer serves you and is not serving your best needs and your best interests at this time. And then we have here number 11 by the book. And this card speaks of divine law. So this is speaking of the law of divine timing, the law of karma. This is the law of attraction. This is different laws. So this say this is saying that you could have brought this to you through the law of attraction. You could have brought this to you through whatever divine law there is. There's a divine law that is in in uh, play here that is coming into play here so respect that divine law so it could be the d law of divine timing and you know things aren't good right now then they're going to get better soon or this could be the law of karma or anything like that to where maybe there's a lesson that you needed to learn maybe there's something that you needed to learn it through this situation through your romantic relationships during the month of november i also associate this card with families and family situations. So again, your family may be a theme during the month of November, maybe um, isolation from that person, again, because of your family. But I see here some family things. And this is also speaking to understand who others are because of their upbringing. But again, it's not your responsibility. 
Understand who others are because of their upbringing, because of who they are, because of their environment, their surroundings. But then again, it's still not your duty to save them. It's not your duty to make their life better. It's their responsibility. Don't clean up their side of the street also. And this is going to be within your partnerships because we have here number 11. So then I have here number 39, new life in the reverse. And this new life card in the reverse is saying that Pisces, it's okay to acknowledge your inexperience at this time. So it's okay to admit that you don't know something or that you were wrong about something. It's okay to admit these things. There's no harm in admitting these things. And know that you are in the beginning of this period. You haven't hit your stride yet and you are in the beginning of this period. You're just waking up. Don't rush the learning process. Just allow the law of divine timing, the law of attraction, just allow these laws to take place to move the energy forward in whatever way it's going to be moved forward. Don't rush the learning process. Don't rush this process and know that life loves you and it's okay to just be here now and just live now. Life loves you. Your higher power, God, universe, spirit, uh, the divine, your higher power loves you and everything is going to work out. So know that you are a bud still opening. You're like a bud, like a beautiful flower that's still opening at this time. So allow yourself to unfold in your own timing. Allow your un yourself to unfold slowly and know that everything is going to work out okay. But during the month of November, again, now's a good time to clear out things that no longer serve you. Know that divine laws are at play here and it's okay if you were wrong about something, someone you don't, you don't know something, um, you were misled, you were um, misperceived, any of those things. It's okay to admit those things. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. It's okay to recognize that you are still in the beginning of this process. You haven't quite hit your stride and you are now awakening like this beautiful flower and moving forward. You're in the beginning processes of moving forward. So do so in your own timing. Don't rush the process and know that everything will work out to your benefit. Alrighty, my lovely, lovely Pisces friends. These are the messages that I have for you for your love and romantic relationships for the month of November. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please thumbs up and like this video. If the messages resonate with you, you, please comment, please share, please subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, please check out my website, powerlifehypnosis.com to book a reading with me, as well as check out my subliminals in the subliminal page. Um, thank you so much for booking this reading with me. Some loud noises just started going on outside the window, so this is a good time to cut this off. Alrighty, thank you so much. Again, visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Thank you. Bye, Pisces.